I'm Dr. Dobbs. Today I want to uh, go over something that uh, I discovered years ago and it just changed the way we practice and it's really out of the box thinking because a lot of stuff that's being taught, orthopedic, medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, wasn't quite correct. So for example, posture, sitting, standing, a lot of times when people hear how to lift, stand and sit, it's wrong. So we're going to go through that today. So I discovered when I went to Haiti in 2008 after the earthquake that I went to the hospitals to help out and I found out that I could take an 80 or 90 year old and move their hips fully. I could get their knees to bend fully. They didn't have much arthritis at all. So I wanted to find out why. So I took two years off and I wrote a book called This Is Why Your Back Hurts based on research from what I found in Haiti and really the rural communities of the world like Africa and China, the tribal communities, they don't have arthritis because of the secret that they contained all their life and we changed in the 20th century called proper posture or proper positioning of your body. So for example, you've heard, you know, um, how do you lift? Well, you lift with your knees. That's incorrect. You do not lift with your knees. You don't lift with your back. You lift with these things, hips. That's what you use. You got big glutes and hamstrings here. You got to use them. Knees don't really have any muscles. So why lift with your knees? So to go over uh, lifting techniques, what you want to do is basically stand and you want to start pivoting at the hips and proper posture is the shoulders way back and really kind of like the, 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 uh, the glutes are sticking way back and out and I got that good curve in your spine. This curve here, you want to have that curve sticking like this. So that way you have good positioning and I'm not using too many muscles and the spine is just stacking properly up and down. So if I want to lift, I want to bend at my hips here. Okay. So you want to bend like this. And once I get down to here, I'm going to start bending my knees now and then I can lift and I just lift like that. But I'm not really using my knees. I'm using my glutes and hands and I'm really feeling it back there. So that's proper lifting techniques. I'm not going to throw my back up. If you noticed, my back never really moves. This is bad. This is not good either. I'm straining the knees too much. So pivot at the hips here and then you can lift your knees a little bit, but you can feel it back here. That's good lifting techniques. Now, a lot of you uh, are sitting and I find out that when you're sitting, I see a lot of people in here that are really computer people, not the UPS workers or, or the people who do a lot of blue collar bending, lifting and, and all that. It's a sitting and sitting causes a lot of arthritis. And when I say arthritis, I mean, if you have a normal spine like this in my lower back, if I pull this out, you'd have nice smooth discs and vertebra and it moves really well. But what happens is with bad posture, too much strain on the, on the bones and you get this, the discs are thin, the, you have teeth like spurs coming off the spine and that hurts, that causes a lot of pain. So in Haiti, they didn't have this. They had more of this nice, smooth, well-oiled machine like a hinge, all right? So a uh, hinge on a door is how you want your spine, knees, shoulders and all the joints to be. So sitting, it causes a lot of problems because people sit like this at computers too much strain on the spine, it's gonna break down. So I had to invent a way to sit. And this is how Asians and, and Africans and Chinese and the rural communities sit. They sit like this and they squat. Feet point out and they do this all day for hours. And most people can't even get down, let alone up on, on that sitting technique. So how do you mimic that? Because you can't really do that at a computer. So you do that by sitting near, near the edge of the seat. Put your legs underneath and you basically are just teetering on near the edge of the chair. And I'm not using any muscles right now. No muscles at all. It's just proper stacking of the bones. And I'm just sitting like this and I got the keyboard right here. And with this kind of sitting, if I try to cheat and bend forward, I'm going to fall. So my brain's going to automatically keep me upright and correct. So I do this part of the time, maybe about a, maybe close to a half the time sitting like this. Another way of sitting the rest of the time, scoop way back in the chair, let the back of the chair push up as you go down, tractions at your spine, maybe even have a little lumbar support there to get that curve in your back and the keyboard right here. And then you're going to hear this probably not from too many people, but you'll hear it from me because this is called spine stretching. It's okay to slump for about five minutes, maybe every hour, just to stretch out the spine and then it prompts you to do this again. So those are good sitting techniques. Um, on how to sit. So next one, we've done lifting, we've done sitting, standing. So 
when you stand and walk or anything else, you know, a lot of people, they walk, stand like this, put their heads forward. That's not good. Too much strain on the muscles and on the joints. That's the arthritis. So, how to stand is you really want to put, I'm going to exaggerate it, put your shoulders way back, kind of stick your butt out, get that nice curve in your back, and keep the stomach tight. And that's how you want to basically stand and walk. And when you walk and run, you're kind of using your hams and glutes. You're using these muscles. You're not using your quadriceps where you walk like this because I'm bending forward and I'm using weaker muscles in the front. These are big muscles. This is how um, Kenyans and Ethiopians win all the races because they use their hams and glutes and they glide, run and walk, and they just glide. They don't have to lift up their leg. Too much energy is wasted on that and too much tearing of the joints. All right, so basically proper sitting, bending, lifting, all that's really important. And what we want to try and do is keep the joints moving like this and not stuck like this because that causes again arthritis. And so by doing proper posture all day and just keep it going in your head, do it for 60 days every day, try to do this proper technique and it will become a good habit. And then you'll be lifting, running, walking and doing everything you're supposed to do just like they did, hence no arthritis.